Hello and welcome to this next lecture on SDL Trido Studio 2011. Today I want to show you a program called Multi-Term Convert. Let me go find it. It's in all programs. And then you go to um, SDL International. SDL Multi-Term 2007. Now this is a program that is uh, purchased uh, aside from, um, from Studio. Um, but I'll show you the convert here. It's right here. We'll click on that. And what this program does is it converts glossaries into a uh, multi-term to make um, a terminology database, okay? Um, there are versions from 2009 and 2011, but they haven't changed that much. Just a couple of the formats, the file formats they take um, have changed. So let me go ahead and show you how we're going to convert this glossary that we have here, okay? And click on next. Uh, we need to actually make a change here in this glossary. Here I have the glossary open. You can see there's English and French. But you might have seen before where we've taken away the language headings at the top. We're going to add them here, okay? Because it needs it this time around. So insert. And we'll just go with English and French, just like that. And we'll click on save, and we're all set. Okay, let's minimize that. Okay, so new conversion session. Click on next. Here you have the different formats, multi-term 5, old if XML, and down all the way until the Excel format. And we click on next. The input file is right here already. Remember we added the English and the French at the top of it and here we have the output file, the second one, the term-based definition file, and the log file. And there's our input file. Click on Next. And here we have the column header field. So you have to tell this, uh, tell it what's going on. So for the English, we can, we can actually select between these two. For the English, we want to call it an index field and we will tell it that it is indeed English oops, for the US and then we'll go to the uh, French and we'll call it an index field and we'll call it F French for France. So there you have English and French. I'm going to click on next. Here we can add uh, more descriptive fields. Uh, this time we're just going to go through this. Uh, click Next. And we have the summary of our conversion that's right here. And we'll click on Next. And here we go with the conversion. Remember the 2009 and 2011 versions um, have just a few more uh, file formats that are offered, OK? And as you can see here, it's not a very long process. It depends on the size of the glossary you're trying to convert. And we are done. Okay, it tells you how many entries were successfully converted. And we click on Next. And then we can import this um, into a multi term. Click on Finish. And here are the files that I was just talking to you about. So that's a little bit on uh, multi-term convert. Thank you very much for watching this uh, lecture. Hope to see you in the next one.